Hello coffee lovers, Damien here, Departure Head Office doing another quick review, preview of something very exciting that's come into my hands. The Eureka Oro Single Dose Grinder. So finally it has arrived. Very excited um, to see this put up against the Niche Zero and also the DF64. So we're going to do a little bit of a road test later. Um, but we're going to have a look at its functions and features. But what I like to do first is see what comes in the box. So what we have is a nice little oak platform. A nice good weighted uh, dosing cup holder, obviously the dosing cup, and you get a plastic lid and an oak lid and obviously the bellow. So the bellow is uh, used to um, make it zero retention. So Eureka are claiming ELR, which is extremely low retention, but we're going to find out how it goes later, again up against the niche in the DF64. But um, let's look at some features and functions. So we're going to have a quick look um, at visually what it looks like. So. Straight away for me, it, um, it's striking because it's on a 75 degree angle. And the reason for that, Eureka are claiming that the trajectory of the beans falling down on that angle will make it a lot easier to disperse the grind. Um, that makes sense for me. The DF64 is on an angle, the niche is not on so much of an angle, but it is on an angle. Um, yeah, so that's the first thing. Visual, it feels very, very heavy, very well weighted, very, very sturdy. Um, so what we have is um, Eureka's silent technology, which has been brought to this model. So you're familiar with that with the Silenzio and Speciliata. Um, we've got a 65 mil flat diamond burrs. So they're exclusive to Eureka. Well, the Eureka is suggesting a life of a thousand kilos. So that's one ton of coffee. That's, that's pretty, pretty remarkable. Um, they can get super fine and go all the way up to filter. So from espresso and up to filter, uh, very impressive, very finite, very small increments of adjustments. Where you know, suggesting that um, you. I'm very impressed initially. It, it, it's it just feels very sturdy and very durable and very um, robust. Um, so we're going to give it a test. We're going to see how it performs. We're going to put it up against the niche and the DF64. We're going to look at the retention, um, and we're going to open it up and have a look inside and get even more excited. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare the Oro. So the DF64 in the niche as far as retention. So I'm going to do it over two roasts. I'm going to do a light roast and a dark roast. So I've got the dark roast first. I'm going to put 20 grams in and I want to see how much I get out. So I'm going to do, they're all set to espresso. Um, but what I'm going to do for the DF64 and an Oro, I'm not going to use the bellow. I think um, the niche doesn't have a bellow. So let's not use the bellow for the other two. So I'm going to take off the bellow. So I'm going to do 20 grams in the niche. So they should have introduced a popcorning plate which stops the popcorning effect. Um, so we've got 20 grams, let's see what comes out. So again, this is dark roast guys. So we're gonna see um, between the dark and the light roast and see if there's any um, you know, inconsistencies. All right, so we're about there with that. So 20 grams, let's see what we get. How about that? That's pretty spot on. Let's do the DF64. Again, I've taken the bellow off and we're gonna put 20 grams in and then I wanna see what comes out. I'm just gonna not use the bellow again and we're gonna see how much we get out. So 20 grams in, let's see what we get. Spot on, without the bellow. All right, let's try the bad boy Oro. And now finally the Oro. So what I've been told is to leave the gate closed in the hopper, turn on the grinder and drop the gate, let the beans drop, and then you'll get a better result. So let's see how we go with the Oro. All right. Seems a lot faster than the other two, definitely. But there's a bit of vibration there. And we'll find out later what's going on there. Look at that, all three spot on 20 grams without bellowing. That's a dark roast by you. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use a light roast and I'm gonna set, or I have set all the grinders to filter. 
and we're gonna see the retention on those. So again, I'm not using the bellows, but let's see how we go. First the niche, let's see the retention. Perfect, spot on like before. Now for the DF64, 20 grams in. Let's give it a little bit longer, because I've got no bellows. All right, we'll do. Let's see the retention on this. Perfect. So we'll do the final, the Oro. Again, that gate's closed. Just a bit more impact on the drop when the motor starts. So, and let's see how we go. It's 20 grams. Look at that, that's pretty good. I have not missed one. Three in, three out in light, three in, three out in dark, and all spot on to the gram. Okay. So guys, if you notice the last um, uh, filter I um, ground, it was quite, it was dispersing quite a bit. So the way to negate that obviously is to spritz the beans going in, and that's pretty straightforward. It's just a, just a little spritz there, and then it will just make them a lot cleaner when they come out. If you're getting close there, you'll see they'll come in. And it's just so much nicer. So a small spritz does wonders. So I've been watching a lot of videos and reviews on the Oro, and when you do see the videos, they say that when this is made quite fine, it does get blockages. Um, and because of the Australian market and our need for having a diversity in roast, we want to try low roast and dark roast, there is potential for this to be blocked. They are correct. So, with inside information from Eureka, what Eureka have done is they've adjusted or changed the clump crusher. So, we're going to go inside, we're going to have a look at what I'm talking about. So everyone, I hope you enjoyed this quick review preview of the Eureka Oro. Um, it's a great grinder from a very, very strong brand. It's very well built, very durable, hand assembled, hand assembled in Italy. Um, I think um, you know it fits right in the price point between a DF64 and a Niche at around the $1,400 mark. It's something that's um, you know a great, a great pedigree from the great brand, and I think that it, it's proven, even though it states ELR, it, you know extremely low retention, it actually proved zero retention. So, um, you know, quite impressed. And um, you can get yours at thepachi.com.au. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the like and bell notifications so you can get updated with the videos constantly and you don't have to keep searching for them. And stay tuned for more reviews, guys. Thank you.